we're ending the New Testament, right, at this time. And here you get this culmination, this Christmas lesson culmination, where Paul says, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. So he had received a witness. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and that he rose again in the third day according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas, of Peter, then of the 12. And after that, he was seen of above 500 brethren, all these witnesses, all these people who witnessed that he overcame. And then, of course, can't you hear Joseph Smith saying, mm -hmm. right? This is the testimony last of all, which we give of him, that he lives. So you hear Paul bear witness of what Peter saw and all of these other people and Mary and all of them. And then you see the prophet Joseph saying, we bear witness to that he came, he was born, he died, he was resurrected, and he lives. And it's like Christmas and Easter all together in the New Testament here, these witnesses that we see in the, and, and the Doctrine and Covenants and the Book of Mormon all coming together that he truly lives, did what he said he would do, fulfilled the covenant. And because of that, we can as well. <laughs>